Some of the most valuable and sought after items in Diablo have been legacy items. That's why when I received this comment on a YouTube poll I made, I was so surprised. It said, honestly, this whole changing the fundamentals almost a year into the game and making hard earned gear useless has made me realize that I need a new ARPG to enjoy. One that respects my time since I work 50 hours a week. And I just had to say, before you all make terrible mistakes and trash your legacy gear, I'd like to provide a small history on legacy items in Diablo and which items you're going to want to absolutely hold on to for dear life. Legacy items has been a term that's been used in Diablo games when an item can no longer spawn in the current state of the game. So in the past, we've had patches of Diablo 2, such as uh, patch 1.08, that had items such as the 08 Valk, uh, 08 Vampire Gaze, uh, 08 Wind Force. Uh, basically, this was the state of those unique items as of that patch. When the next patch came out, 1.09, the stats all changed. But if you still had those items, they still maintained their same stats, exactly how Diablo 4 is going to work with their legacy items. This is what some of those old legacy Diablo 2 items are worth today, which is absolutely crazy to think about. To make it perfectly clear, I don't condone any real money trading or any third party trading that breaks Blizzard terms of service. And the whole point of demonstrating the value is to show just how one, rare these items are because you cannot get them anymore. And two, how obviously good they are uh, because they, you cannot get this combination of stats anywhere else in the game besides these legacy items, which is going to be the case for Diablo 4 as well. Uh, what will happen to current items after this rework? Yeah, so all of the items that you currently have on your characters or on the Eternal Realm will be flagged as what are called legacy items. Uh, they, they'll continue to function as they are, uh, so that they're not going to break, they're not going to be rerolled or changed in any way. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of say, hey, this was an item that, you know, you, in, in the old system, but if you want to engage with the new uh, systems and, and find those greater affixes and temper all the cool new affixes onto it, uh, and, and do masterworking, of course, you're going to need to go out and find new items. Now, up to this point, we've seen a few legacy items in Diablo 4, but they've all been replaced by stronger versions. So nothing really has had any value outside of sentimental tokens of previous patches. But this time around, everything is different. If you haven't seen or heard yet, the damage reduction affix has been removed from all rare and legendary items other than shields, meaning those three damage reduction chests pants and amulets are going to cease from dropping starting May 14th, which is the start of season four. That's right. You'll never be able to find one again. And as a result, Diablo four is being rebalanced to account for it. So what does that mean? As we know from the clip, all items are going to continue to exist and function the same as they do now. You just won't be able to benefit from tempering or masterworking. So having access to these three damage reduction affixes on one piece of gear is arguably stronger than tempering or masterworking, uh, you know, could ever get on some of these pieces. So keeping these items are going to unlock a level of tankiness that we've never seen before, especially combined with some of the newer items that you could still put in other slots. And who knows, one day you maybe could sell a few of them and cut back from the 50 hours a week that you're working down to 40 hours a week. No, but in all seriousness, uh, do not trade for real money. You are going to get banned. It's against terms of service. Uh, just use these godly legacy items for yourself and feel absolutely immortal doing it. Go into those new level 200 bosses and you know they're just going to tickle you because you've got all of these damage reduction mods that you're really not even supposed to have anymore. So before you go trashing all of your legacy items, please just remember to keep the damage reduction ones. Uh, that's all I had to say. Don't make the terrible mistake. I wanted to catch you before, you know, you trashed any of your legacy items. You're going to want to make sure you hold on to those. Uh, but anyway, having fun with the PTR. Come check out the stream if you'd like to see uh, any of the PTR live. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.